building. So Angela just went over the clothes and how you all know you make 50% of your sales, so we're all good on that, right? That's easy. But sometimes, okay, sometimes there's confusion on how exactly your income works when you are building your team. And so this is going to be really, really visual for you. So does everybody have their M&Ms out? Okay. It's okay if they're spilled. No worries. We're good. Okay? All right. I need everybody up here because I need you to hang with me, all right? So you can you can eat a couple M&Ms, but don't eat them all because you need them for your visual. Then you can eat the whole bag if you want to. All right? All right. So team building income. The first step on our career path is a senior consultant, right? You're a brand new consultant, or maybe you've been a consultant for a while, and you just share the opportunity with someone. And for the sake of this illustration, we're going to assume that that person that joined your team decides to start her business as a star consultant. 1800 inventory star consultant, okay? We're just gonna, that's what we're gonna use as a number, all right? Because really, I mean, we talked about this in the money management class that we all know we need to have inventory if we wanna make money because otherwise we're selling air, right? Okay, so um, senior consultant, you add one new staff buyer star consultant, just one, it's your only team member, how much um, commission do you make as a senior consultant? I, it's on the screen for you, so I'll have to just shout it out. 4%, right? You make 4%. So 4% of an $1,800 wholesale star order as a senior consultant would be $72. That's awesome, right? Would you be excited about $72 extra? Here's the question. Is $72 better than $0 that you would have if you had zero team members? Yeah, okay, so that's good. So what I want you to do is make a little senior consultant M&M pile for me, and I want you to put seven M&Ms in it, okay? Because each M&M is gonna equal $10, all right? So you're a senior consultant, you have one new staff by your star team member, you've got your 4% commission check, $72. Seven M&Ms, yay. Are you excited about seven M&Ms? Woo, woo, okay. Leave them there, we're making a new pile. Because the next step on the career path is what? Where do you take your next promotion? Red Jacket. Oh, well, Red Jacket, there you go. Um, red Jacket, you have, same thing, one new Sapphire Star team member. You are still making your 4% commission check, so go ahead and count out another seven M&Ms for your Red Jacket pile, because you're still making $72. But we're gonna assume that you were, all, you were already a red jacket and so this new person that joined was your number four. Sorry, click right hit your number four. Um, and so when you have your fourth team member as a red jacket, do you know that you get a $50 bonus for every team member after number four? When you're a red jacket and then you have a new qualified team member, it's 50 bucks. And then when you have team member number five, it's 50 bucks. We have team member number six, it's 50 bucks. Isn't that cool? Okay, so you get to count out because you're a red jacket. You've made your 4%, so you've got your seven M&Ms for that, but you also are getting your $50 team building bonus. So give yourself five more M&Ms in your red jacket pile. So you have $122 total. So you should have 12 M&Ms. It's 12 more than seven. How many of you can get excited about having 122 instead of 72. Is this good? Yes, okay. And then we move to the next step on the career path. What's the next step? Team leader, and what happens at team leader? Your commission goes up. It goes up, it either doubles or it triples. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. Okay, so team leader to DIQ, so that's all the same. Team leader, future director, DIQ, your pay is the same, all the way in there, all right? And so, and I made it blue because you're, it's better than red, <laughs> it's better than red, but you're not quite to the green yet, which is when you're gonna be a director. <laughs> so that was my little mental color joke. Okay, um, so same thing, you're a team leader, or you're a future director, or you're a DIQ, and you add a new Sapphire Star team member, and we're gonna do the first example is gonna be that you have a 9% commission check. All right, so 9% commission. And when you have 9% commission on 1800 is $162. So it's already like as much as you were making as a red jacket. 
almost. It's way more than you were making just as a consultant. So count yourself out 16 M&Ms for your future director, team leader, 9% pile. 16 M&Ms. And then you still get your $50 team building bonus. So add yourself five for that. So your total commission check is going to be $212. Okay, so you have 21 M&Ms in that pile. Good, everybody's with me? All right, how many of you, because I'm going to explain how you get the 13% check. That's going to be the next slide, but I just want to know right now, how many of you know, like you could stand up and you could tell me what you need to do to make your 13% commission check instead of your instead of your um, 9%. If you know it, stand up, because I really want to know how many know this. And if you don't, it's okay. Okay, Marie, what? Okay, you have a personal $600 wholesale order is one qualification for 13%. What's the other qualification for your 13% check, Shelby? I'm pretty sure five of your team members have to place the 200 Yes, Great. and five of your team members order at least $200 in that same month, okay? So this is where it's important to kind of look at your numbers because if you're at the end of the month and you've had like 50 team members order $200 and you haven't placed an order, you are shooting yourself in the foot because you are making so much less money at 9% than you do at 13%. Okay, so I'm going to show you the difference here really quick because it's, it's a big jump from 9% to 13%. Okay, so here we are. There we go. Team leader to VIQ with a 13% commission check. Same amount of production, so still the $1,800. You have $234. $234, so count out 23 M&Ms. And you've still got your $50 team building bonus. Woo -woo. So give yourself five more. So your 13% check pile is 28 M&Ms. Okay? Are you seeing the, the impact that this makes, the difference that these make? I want to take you back just for one quick second. Look at your red jacket pile that had 12 M&Ms with four people. And then look at your team leader to the IQ pile, either your 9% or your 13%. 21 M&Ms or 28 M&Ms, that's a whole lot more than 12. Honestly, I don't know why everybody doesn't just get five in their first week and be done with it. Like, it's so much, Mariah's nodding. She's like, yeah, that's what I did. Like, <laughs> I <would've been> <laughs> All right, so, okay, are you guys ready for, like, hold on to your seats for a second here. Just grab hold of your chair because we're about to go crazy with the M&Ms, all right? Because when you step into directorship, I don't know if you guys realize how big of a change it is in the income. Like, it's astronomically different, okay? So, check this out, here we go. Director, one new Sapphire Star team member. One new. You still make your 13% personal team commission, or your 9%, but as a director, it's always 13%. So, 13% um, is still your $234. So count out 23 M&Ms for that. As a director, that team building bonus that you got as a red jacket of $50, as a director, your team building bonus is $100. 100 bucks. So give yourself 10 more M&Ms. Yeah. Yeah. Then, as a director, you also get paid for your entire unit commission, including your own personal wholesale order, which rocks, Woo which is of course at least 600, so yes. that rocks. Okay, so 13% unit production, and I figured this based on a minimum, that you have a minimum of 5,000 production as a whole unit, okay, which is pretty low, but 5,000 is a whole unit, and um, so your 13% of 5,000 is $650. 
So add 65 M&Ms to that pile. Then as sales directors, we also have a unit volume bonus, which is a 10% bonus, and it's paid on, on the 1,000 level. It starts at 5,000, so since, since we had 5,000, that's gonna be a $500 bonus. So add 50 more M&Ms to that pile. Are you running out of M&Ms? Who's out of M&Ms? Be honest, raise your hand, you're out. Aren't you glad Mary Kay never runs out of money? <laughs> so as a director, for that one same order, that one same Sapphire Star order, is $1,484 profit that that gives you for you and your family as opposed to $72 or $122 or $212 or $284. Pretty significant difference, isn't it, you guys? And honestly, you guys, on this director example, it doesn't really cover everything because there are other bonuses and other things that figure into that, but that gets way too complicated to try to explain in 20 minutes. So I have for you on this last sheet um, a chart that shows you all of it. So if you want to grab your paper and write this down so you can remember, or grab a picture on your smartphone. If you want to just come right up here and snap a picture of it, oh, we'll leave it up. So it'll be up here if you can't get it from where you're at. Um, but that just lays out exactly what we did, just side by side. So I want you to, again, just look over this. See your consultant. You have your personal team commission at 4% is $72. You're not eligible for the team building bonus as a senior consultant. And of course, you're not a director, so you don't get unit commission or your unit volume bonus. At the red jacket level, you have the same personal team commission of 4%. But you add in that team building bonus, that $50 team building bonus, but still not a director, so no unit commission, no unit volume bonus, sad day. <laughs> and then as a team leader, a future director, a DIQ at 9% commission, your personal team is $162, $50 bonus, no unit, so no volume, none of that, you're not going to unit yet, $212. 13% is the 234 plus your team building bonus is 284. Then when you're a director, it opens up the doors to everything else, okay? So then all of that is available to you and 1484 is your total there, okay? So here's my question. I want you to think for a second. I want you, to, I know you're taking pictures. I promise I'm gonna leave this up. You can come up and get pictures of it. We can email it to you, you know, it's, it's we've got it for you, all right? But I want you right now, I want you just where you're sitting, I want you to close your eyes. <coughs> close your eyes. And I want you to think that if you were a sales director and you had an additional $1,484 this month by the end of October, would your life look different? Would you be able to do something that you're not able to do right now? Maybe you'd be able to quit a job that you don't like. Maybe you'd be able to buy that perfect Christmas present for that special person in your life. Maybe you'd be able to spend more time with your kids. Maybe you'd be able to travel. I don't know what your maybe is. I don't know what your why is. But do y'all agree that money gives us more choices? And is there really any reason why, if you can add one new team member as a senior consultant, that you couldn't add one new team member again and again and again and again? And do you realize that after you get to your 10, and you're in DIQ, then when your team members start adding one new consultant again and again and again, that they count towards you birthing a unit and you guys all working together to that position. So honestly, Mary Kay gets easier. Mm -hmm. It gets easier the higher you go 
because you get paid more for the same work, okay? So was this helpful to you? Does this help lay it out? Do you see the difference? Okay, so how many of you are like, I am not going for the 72 M&Ms anymore, <laughs> seven M&Ms anymore, $72. I'm excited about moving up and I'm excited about more. Who wants more? Maybe not more M&Ms, but more money, right? Right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yay.